Number 10. Among the solubility rules previously discussed is the statement, carbonates, phosphates, borates, and arsenates, except those of the ammonium ion and the alkali metals, are insoluble. And then we have letter A. It says, write the expression for the equilibrium constant for the reaction represented by this equation. So we have calcium carbonate is a solid, turns into Ca2 plus and CO3 2 minus. And then is a follow-up question. Is the Kc greater than 1, less than 1, or equal to 1? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite that equation. I have calcium carbonate, which is a solid, and this can come to equilibrium. It's a reversible reaction of calcium 2 plus aqueous and then CO3 2 minus aqueous. Okay. So let's see. I might have, let's see, can I grab it? There we go. Whoop. Don't want to do that. There we go. Okay. So first thing is let's write that equilibrium constant expression. That is this formula right here. It's a simple formula of just saying Kc, which is the equilibrium constant, equals products divided by reactants. So let's go for it. Kc is going to equal something divided by something else. And we always look at the products and then the reactants. In this case, these are your products, right? And these are your reactants. So it looks like it's going to be just talking about these divided by this. Now, the first thing that I would do is I would look at the states. Here's a solid, here's an aqueous, and here's an aqueous. The thing is, is that in order to use this equation, you only can, you're only allowed a couple of states. You're only allowed two states. So the ones that are included in the KC formula are aqueous, aqueous are allowed, and gases are allowed. No solids and no liquids. So first off, I just run across and I say, okay, who's allowed? Uh-oh, this is a solid. That's a no-no. So maybe I will put that like this. Big no-no, because that's a reactant. Reactants are blue. But then for these, these are the products, aqueous, check and check, we're allowed to use that. So now I have a better idea. I'm going to use these in my expression. And when we do that, we use brackets. Brackets means concentration, aka molarity. So I'm just going to say bracket. I got calcium, Ca2+. Plus, and I don't really have to write the aqueous. Now I have another product. When you have multiple products, it's multiplication. I'm just going to put the two brackets next to each other. And that's CO3. Two minus, close the bracket. And now my top part is all finished. Now I just want to say that you have to raise them to the coefficients, aka the big numbers in the front. But since there was no number for calcium and there was no number for the carbonate, remember it's just a one and a one. So I don't have to raise these to the first. Anything raised to the first is itself. Now I can't use the solid so I can't put CaCO3 on the bottom. So when I just have to fill the void, right, literally there would be nothing on the bottom, I just say it's over 1. Now, you can just simplify this. Usually on tests or quizzes, you're not going to see it being over 1. Remember, anything over 1 is itself. So basically, I can get rid of this, and you'll probably see it like this on your test or quiz. And that would be the equilibrium constant. Okay, so let's see. That's the answer to the first part. Now, is this Kc greater than 1, less than 1, or equal to 1? Well, it comes, um, the answer comes with what's going on here. In this case, I have CaCO3, which is a solid. And they did say that carbonates, that's what I have here, I have a carbonate, they're all insoluble, means that it's a solid, unless it's with ammonium or alkali metals. Remember, alkali metals, those are group 1 on the periodic table. Calcium is in group 2, so it's not the exception. That's why this is a solid. 
And once a solid is made, once a precipitate is made, you're not going back. You're not breaking it up really to get the, the ions. Once a precipitate is made, it's going to stay a precipitate. That means that wherever the solid is, in this case, this part is way more than this part at equilibrium. So in this case, the reactants are more than the products because once you form a precipitate, that's it. It's just going to stay a solid. The rate of this is not going to really happen. So when you have more reactants at equilibrium, that's following this. More reactants at equilibrium means that your Kc is less than 1. So I know that whatever this is, chances are that value is going to be less than 1. So maybe, you know, 7 times 10 to the negative 2, 8 times 10 to the negative 3. It could even be such like extreme um, numbers like 7 times 10 to the negative 20. They're, they're crazy. Just has to be less than 1. All right? And that's it. So... Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And I will see you all for part B because this is part A. So I'll see you in a few. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.